Hey guys, it's me Taylor. Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having such a wonderful day today. Oh, make sure to like, follow, turn on post notifications today. We're going to be making mini bookmarks, but you guys can use it out of anything you want. I'm just going to use it out of a paper. And so you're going to need a paper or whatever you want, a hole puncher. And if you want, you can put tape over it, but I'm not going to. You can put tape on it so it lasts longer, but yeah. Oh, and you're gonna need markers if you're gonna color on it. So first, you gotta get your paper and your markers, and you gotta pick whatever colors you want. Um, I'll do cotton candy colors, oops. I'm just gonna do like cow shapes, whatever you call, whatever you, like the spots on cows, but in cotton candy colors. Comment down below if you guys try this, because I really want to know. You guys can also use string, but I'll tell you about that once I get to it. I'm not there yet, so. Yeah. So when I'm just doing, like, I'm just making little random things and I'm coloring them in. Because I'm using cotton candy colors or whatever. I'm, I'm using pink and blue. They don't have to be cotton candy colors, but that's what I like to call them. And yeah, I'm going as quick as I can, so it's not going to be as good as you would usually do. But okay, this is good for now. So it should look something like for your design. And you're going to get your hole punch. And you're going to hole punch it like, so when you're putting it in, you want to slide it in and have the hole right in the middle so like so if you have it like this you're putting it in like maybe I'm gonna hole punch it and then show you guys like right there so it's like right in the middle and then you're gonna get your string and then you're gonna you're gonna put it through here and then you're gonna tie it up in a knot. And then you're gonna, whenever you need it, you get your book, you open your book up, put it there with the string out. You put it in your book, close it so the string's looking, so you can see the string. And then when you open your book again, then you can just take the bookmark out and then read whatever you have to do, and then put the bookmark back in. This is a short video, but I hope you guys like this video. And Next time I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be attempting to make a, like a mini whiteboard. So yeah, remember, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Bye!